Still 3.3, baby. Let's run it. At the RC track with the Revo. So Ben, you've been looking for a uh, like a 3.3 Traxxas for a while, right? Absolutely. This Revo right here is gonna go to him. Show us the condition of the Revo, bro. How is it? This is mint. Absolutely mint. This is the last time you guys will see. Probably my best nitro on the channel right over here. This is the cleanest Revo you will ever see. Now, I call this a work of art. Show us what the back of the chassis looks like, Ben. You know, if, if Mona Lisa was a painting, I mean an RC, if the Mona Lisa was an RC, it would be the damn Traxxas Revo, guys. What do you think about that? Look at all those contours. It's like, why do they have to put all that? Two steering servos, two speeds, skid plates all around. Like, there's not a single spot here where there's no skid plate, right? It's absolutely, it's gorgeous. It really yeah, it's is. gorgeous. I remember years ago, years ago, like uh, when you had the old school T-Max, you basically had to buy a whole bunch of skid plates almost right away. Cause like, you know, your your servos would get destroyed, your fuel tank would rub on everything, your drive shafts, your transmission. You were basically spending a ton of money on, on just um, uh, skid plates. Now I will be running probably, well not probably, definitely, my favorite overall nitro truck. Honestly, every time I do a video on this, people are like, why you like the T-Max, man? Uh, you know, get yourself a, uh, a low C buggy. The thing is, I'm not a racer. I hate center diffs. Ben, what do you think about center diffs? Garbage. Yeah, garbage. You see right here, the Nitro Gang, we all agree. We don't need center diffs, guys. What we need is a two-speed baby. We're going to have Ben go through a startup for us, okay? We're going to basically pretend that he's a beginner. Of course, he's not. He has probably more years of Nitro experience than I do, and that's okay. We could always admit that someone is better. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we have another Revo in the back over here. What's going on, guys? It looks like I'm out here, you know, yelling about Revos, and we got another Revo all the way in the back there. What is that, the 3.3? Oh, same truck. We got more Nitro Gang over here. What's going on, guys? And I got a brand new T-Max in the car. Oh, oh, they just told us they got a T-Max in the car. Two T-Max. Two T-Maxes. So if you add up all the speeds, guys, we're going to get a 10 speed. That's uh, two speed times five, right? Because five nitros. <laughs> We're going to watch Ben run it. This is this is going to be your first run, right? Yeah, with this one. You ever cool. ran this chassis before or no? Long time ago. Long time ago. So you know how they handle. Yeah, They're kind of like buggy-like. Let's go to town. Okay, so you're going to start her up? We got... The, is, is the system on? System's out. All right, let's... Uh, okay, system's on. Okay. The old... Okay, so we're priming it. Did you see that fire? The fire is insane. The fire is up. You can't kill a Traxxas Revo, guys. You can't kill it. Yeah, once it goes through that bog, it'll be okay. Just drive it around this little oval first. Traxxas Revo live on the Nitro Gang's YouTube channel, Sunday. Say goodbye, I'm selling this beast. All right, yeah, let's warm up the engine a little bit. You could drive a little bit how you normally drive. But try not to flip it, because I might cry, bro. Okay, we got two-speed nitro right here. How you doing, bro? Oh, two-speed, baby. You guys could run it. I, I'm, I'm waiting for it. Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. This is... Anybody that wants to run can run as long as it's a nitro, right? You qualify. <laughs> what is your channel? Uh, my channel is exactly what my shirt is. You want to take a pic? Hybrid 32494. This is my YouTube channel. It's like a long username, so it's hard for me to actually, like, you know, look it up right here, bro. Yeah. This is my channel. I just got it. Show everybody your Revo. Can, can you lift it a little for us? Because, like, the way the lighting is, I can't, like, uh, we're using a gimbal right now. Oh yeah, so this this is a really nice one. I see you have like a bunch of integy parts over here. Everything. Oh man, you had this for a long time. Yeah, first truck I bought. Oh wow, and you still have it. So you love nitro, right? Like I got me? two T Maxes and I got a um, Kyosho Inferno. Kyosho Inferno. Oh man, dude, that's that's cool. Me and that guy Ben over there, we're basically the only two that run nitro here. The, the only two. Oh no, you're not the only one. You just got a new subscriber. 
Dude, had yeah, I had a fuel. Check out his uh, Revo. It's insane. It has a bunch of like Intergy upgrades. That's right, guys. You come to the RC track here in Staten Island once in a while. We're going to meet some cool people, you know? Oh, yeah. I see you have like a whole bunch of... Uh, how are these shocks? You like them? They're so so. I gotta adjust them. Oh yeah, you need uh, you need some uh, some more oil. Some oil in there, yeah. yeah. The back, same thing. See? Yeah. But the back has a lot of weight with the aluminum wheelie bar with the uh -huh. wing mount. How's your reverse? You never have any problems with the opti drive or anything? Stop working. Oh, it stopped working. I just let it stop. Okay. I didn't want to fix it. Dude, when you say stop working, like it doesn't shift, you mean, or like it's is uh, mechanically work. stuck? It's done. Oh, it, okay. It's finished. It doesn't work. You know what you could do? You could just remove this and yeah. remove the center. It's right. like a $13 kit. I did it in one of my videos. If you need help, bro, just hit me up in the comments. I'll tell you, you know. Okay. It, it's very easy. You know, yeah, it's no big deal. It's just on. one center and the, the couple reverse gears. It's like a $13 forward-only conversion, it's called. I from just got into the yeah. hobby yesterday. Oh, yeah? yeah? I went on a shopping spree. It's, it's crazy. He bought a T-Max. He bought a Revo. He you, bought a, you bought a whole bunch of nitros I just hear. Tell us. What'd you get? Revo, it's on its way. I picked up a T Max yesterday. Put a little E Revo VXL. I had one of those, dude. Those are very nice. I have one. It's a Revo Fest at the RC track right over here. You know? This is probably the first time in my life that I saw another person show up with a Revo besides me. <laughs> I'm serious. I guess the Nitro Gang is spreading, you know. Uh, wearing shirts with your own channel name eventually pays off. Did you guys read what it says on the back of my shirt? On the back of my shirt? Nitro gang. Nitro gang. What does it say on the bottom though? Crawler free zone. That's right. <laughs> Did you notice how nice it is like with this design with the body on? You don't got to do anything. Whoa, that was a crazy start. You want to be honest? You want to go and give it a last final rip? All right, guys. I'm going to run my own Revo for the last time and yell two-speed baby while I still can. Two-speed baby! The two-speed is very predictable and good.
it. Instantly, too. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of the slipper setting, I think I have it like a little bit loose. So I have most of my stuff set up not to wheelie. No, okay? Yeah. It's really nice, man. Drive it a little. I like it. That's it, guys. The last, the last handoff to Ben. Come here, bro. Come here. Congratulations. And he got himself a Nitro Gang approved Traxxas Revo 3.3 where the two speed always shifts yeah. all right let's hit it drive normal though don't flip it bro i'm gonna cry so you're saying you approve of the nitro gang tune Absolutely. and it runs so straight right like surprising for a monster truck no no like torque steer Nice, nice. Try the reverse a little bit slow, yeah. So reverse is awesome. You, don't go too fast in reverse. You don't. I, I, you never want to. You know, it's not an MGT. It's like plastic <laughs> gears. <laughs> and speed wise, it's. Uh, how would you compare this to your MGT when it hits second gear? It's basically the same. No, I think this is actually my MGT itself. I, I can definitely get a new uh, glow plug in it and tune it, but. Yeah. This is definitely, I think, a little more responsive to my Yeah, because it's a small block, so they're very, very, like, high RPM. Yep. And, yeah, and it runs and idles and it's quiet, like, look how easily it returns to idle. It's so, insane, right? Crisp, too. Yeah. All right, we don't have much fuel. No, you can hear it. Yeah. No, no, well, I could see it's, like, uh, on the bottom over there. But still, the idle is good, right? No, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it handles great. And that's completely factory, not one mod. Oh, that was a sideways cartwheel. Nice. I think we're almost out of fuel in a little. Yeah. How you guys liking the Revo? You just can't kill it. What do I say? And yet people always ask me what nitro to get. Pretty much the answer is any nitro you can get two to three of. But if you have four, try to sell one of them and get two more. You know, that's the Nitro Gang Nitro Multiplication Strategy, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, it, it's nice. Look how supple the suspension is, right? I'll give you one. It's all right. I got tons of body clips. One time body clips pissed me off so much I bought like a couple hundred. <laughs> Do you notice how on the Revo chassis the engine is uh, like a diagonal mount? There's a reason why. To create a lot of that uh, inboard mount weight, you know, uh, that's that's really the reason. This is, I think, the first Nitro where the engine, you know, on a production was mounted more like on the diagonal inboard, not like flat on a chassis like this. Weight distribution, but also, you know, you have momentum. It is, it is nice, man. And you know what I like about it? This is not like the kind of RC you have to be really afraid of running on pavement because these wheels, they're super beefy. You know, these protectors are never going to wear down, ever. No, it's like the original HGI yeah. Savage. Yeah. yeah. And dude, and how smooth is the drivetrain? Like when you spin the wheels freely? Uh, there's no binding. Whatsoever. No binding at all. Yeah. I love the, the, the Revo and the T-Max for that reason. I mean, the Revo is like a state-of-the-art type of RC, you know? It really is. Also, I don't know if you noticed, there's like a convenient little carry handle in the back here. You can carry this directly like this through the roll bar without removing the body. So this is actually the roll bar on the inside. It's genius. Let's try it. And it's very comfortable, right? Does it cut up your hand or anything? Yeah. Dude, when, when the Revo first came out and it had like this kind of design with this roll bar access in the back, it blew me away. You know, today no one really probably cares about these things, but if you had nitros years ago, this is the type of thing that would like blow you away. You know? 
It's absolutely gorgeous. Really is. Yeah. And the glow plug wire works. Everything works. Yep. Personally, I, I tend to use, you know, my own glow starters. Yep. Because uh, eventually this stuff gets frayed anyway. But, you know, for now, it's, it's, it's adequate, I would say. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Just leave it. Yeah. Even like the way they have this fuel tank cut out, yep. it, it is really convenient to fuel this. Like this. And the spring is nice and tight. All right, bro. If you got to roll, thanks for watching. Take care. And congratulate Ben right here with the Revo, baby. If you smell it, what the Nitro Gang is cooking. <laughs>